How is it going, guys? This is Isolate. That's my YouTube name. And, uh, in the real world, I go by Jonah, because that's my name. That's my real name, alright? But my YouTube name is Isolate. I'm here with a uh, UBC battle. Sorry if this is up late. I'm not sure if it is or not. Uh, I think it is. I think it's like a week late. But that's okay. I just, I'm sorry. I, it's okay. It's okay. But it's alright, right? I don't know. Um, we're here against Will, the RNG Lord. His YouTube link will be in the description. You know, the thing under the video, okay? It says click, it says read more. You might have to do that. And then his link will just be so like my opponent dash, and then the link, and then click the link, and it's going to gonna go, 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 gonna go to his channel, and you're gonna subscribe. And you're gonna watch his videos. You're gonna enjoy it. So here we go. He's ha he has brought the Excadrill, the Tapu Fini, the Beware, the Cresselia, Mega Altaria, and Jolteon. What I have brought is a Weavile, probably just standard. I don't remember the set. I'm sorry. Um, just like it. Wait, I might have it actually. Should I? No, it's alright. I might still have it, but it's it's all good. I, I don't need to. No, I probably don't. Never mind. So I have the Weavile here, and uh, it it's pretty cool. You know, it's uh probably Life Orb, uh, with the knockoff. You know, the Icicle Crash. I brought Low Kick. I remember I did bring Low Kick, and I guess I have the. Did I have the? Yeah, I think I I I think I had the Poison Jab on Weavile, over Ice Shard. I'm not sure though. But we had a uh, Fizz Death Fortress to kind of you know regulate. All right, regulate the, the Mega Altaria. I think I had an Aka, Aka Berry, uh, to regulate the Beware, to regulate the Excadrill. It's just a solid thing in general. By the way, I predicted five out of six of his mods. I I did not predict Beware. I predicted something else. Like oh yeah, I predicted he had an Incineroar. I, I thought he'd bring Incineroar for uh, Weavile, but he didn't. So yeah, here we are. Fortress Rapid Spin Volt Switch probably Spikes. Because I had Stealth Ox on DNC, so, on DNC, so spikes, rapid spin, all that good jazz. Suicune, I believe I just brought like a, like a Call Mine Kirkin. <laughs> no, no, sorry, I brought Wacken with the, <laughs> with the Mirror Coat to catch that Jolteon. <laughs> and then I brought the Spadef DNC, who let me, I'll have you know, does nothing in this battle. It really doesn't. And then we have Choice Specs Electrode, who does significantly more than Diancy, and then we have a uh, Mega Menchion just sitting there being the awesome thing it is, okay? And then, uh, yeah, just just a great, just a great Mega overall, okay? Enough speed out speed, a max speed extra drill, obviously if it's choice carved, but but uh, yeah, we do have the uh, toxic. We, I believe we have like sub toxic, uh, uh, send headbutt, no sub toxic drain punch and. Poison jab, so that's cool. Let's get right into the battle. I predicted him to lead with Jolteon. Um, you know, maybe you're predicting my fortress. Uh, so he does lead Jolteon, and I'm like, okay, I have the Wackenberry. Gonna be able to mirror coat this boy. He he brings me to 51%. So uh, I'm just gonna kill him. All right, right off the bat. Uh, let me put this on like normal. Uh, if I hadn't had the Wacken, I actually still would have lived that on 1%, seeing how that did. It literally did 49.9%. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, sorry. Dancy does this. Does do something. It got up rocks. That is so useful. But yeah, then it just dies. So didn't really have a switch for uh, Zazo here. I, I thought I thought he'd have fire punch, but yeah. Just looking at that damage, it kind of looks banded right there, like Advent banded. So that could be nice for Fortress. But what was I saying? Yeah, Thunderbolt. Even without the Walken, I would have been able to live it on the Sliver and take out Jolteon. But obviously, I would have been at one percent, so I would have been useless uh, at that point. So. I go for Toxic, I do land it on Duck Yourself. Um, if he goes for Moonblast, that's fine with me. I'm just going to switch into Noel. Okay, I'm going to switch into Noel. He's going to bring in Narwhal. I can't rest. Son of a bitch. It's fine, though. I'm going to switch right back out into Why Not LOL. He's going to go over the Taunt. I'm going to predict his Frizzle thing. I'm going to Foul Play. Okay, I should have clicked Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt would have been such a 2 KO against this thing. Because I'm just mod, like, mod specs or something. Like, God. Or, gosh. Sorry. He goes for a return. Now, I'm going to predict him to predict... I'm going to predict him to switch. He predicts my switch, predicting him to switch. And, uh, he goes for a return. What a godly play, honestly. Like, that... 
Jesus. All right, so we need like a max roll to be able to take me out here. Uh, so I'm just gonna be able to go for the scald. I felt like Fortress was too passive, and he he could have switched the next. You know, he could he could have switched. He, can, he does get the max roll, uh, which is unfortunate. Like literally, you know, max roll. But it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, Narwhal comes in here. I'm going for Drain Punch because that's just lovely. He does have the leftovers. Looking for the calcs. A Fizz Def, uh, Tabu Fini might live a Poison Jab. I cannot risk that. I have to go for the, uh, Electrode Switch in here. I can still win this, okay? I can still win this. So, I'm going to, uh, Thunderbolt. If he goes into Exedrill, I can just bring in, uh, freaking, uh, freaking Fortress. So, uh, I'm going to switch into Chrome. Because I did not want to be locked into Thunderbolt and him bring in Excadrill. That's why I went for that, because I, I knew that I could take any one hit from Cresselia, it would have died to Toxic, that it could have had Fortress in instead of a Specs Thunderbolt uh, Electrode in, you know, where my opponent has an extra drill, you know, that would have been bad. Then Fortress would have had to switch in and take a hit, which I don't want it to, but it, it has to. So I go for the Thunderbolt here, because, um, you know, I don't really need to predict, because uh, Fortress comes in here, here, I can take that hit. I can take it. No, I can't take another one. Never mind. The first one did 30, and then the next one did 33. What? Um, so he goes for EQ. I live it. I did the calc, and I'm like, okay, I know he's probably Adamant Scarf. If he is Adamant Scarf, the most he can do is just about, like, 86% or so, and that's exactly what he did. So that's awesome, or 85 or whatever. So if he... Okay, so this that actually had a 50% chance to take out Mega Altaria if he was... What if if he was max speed, max attack, or max speed, max special attack? It had a fifty percent chance to take out, to take him out. I'm guessing he had like a pinch of bulk, so the roll was kind of meh in my favor. Uh, but then again, he did get a high roll on my speaking to take it out, so you can't really complain about that one. I could have switched into Electro, predicting a hyper voice, because I did have soundproof. That would have been nice. But I, after the game, he said he went for like D dance or no, I think he went for like EQ or something. So that wouldn't have worked out, but yeah. Then I go for Poison Jab because I, I'm looking at the calcs at this point. Max HP Beware uh, does not take a T-Bolt. It does not. I'm just going to Poison Jab, get enough chip on this thing. I didn't want to bring in Electro right there and risk him, you know, critting me. So I just go for the... Speaking of crits, we get a crit there. does not matter. Uh, super effective, we're going to get a crit. Then I'm going to be able to take Zazo out. The minimum I could have done was like... Hold on. Yes, the... Oops. But yeah, the minimum I did was 59%, and he had 58 so There's no way I was not taking him out, unless he had, like, some special investment, specially defensive investment, which he did not, obviously. So we're going to pick up the win here, and, uh, that's hella clean, bro, okay? So, basically, if we were up, we're in playoffs right now. We have one more week to go. We are up, like, eight. Um, eight differential, and um, so we just gotta hold that. Okay, we gotta we gotta hold it. We have to cusp it. Make sure we get to playoffs, cause that will be really, really, really cool. Okay, okay. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This was a really gl close battle. Thank you, Will, for this epic ass battle, and I'll see you guys next time.